first day of event finals will begin with the men's floor final. After the Jim Nova floor literally broke apart in qualifying, president of the Chilean Federation and president of keeping artistry in men's gymnastics, Tomas Gonzalez, has been added as the ninth qualifier. Our new all-around bronze medalist Kenzo Shirai enters as the heavy favorite, qualifying with a score more than seven-tenths higher than anyone else in the final. He will decide how this final plays out. The Americans Wittenberg and Moldauer qualified second and third, Wittenberg hoping to rely on his exceptional power to get onto the medal stand, while Moldauer will look to lead the field in execution. The women's vault final, often the most contentious among gym nerds worldwide, features top qualifier Maria Paseca. She has a total difficulty score four tenths higher than anyone else in the final, but will the others be able to use their execution scores to knock her off the top? Olympic bronze medalist Julia Steingruber is back with her full difficulty and had the best single vault execution in qualifying for her handspring Rudy. Jade Carey just moved up to Elite and has gorgeous execution, but will it be enough to overtake Paseka's huge D? We can't forget perennial crowd favorite Oksana Chusovitina, who snuck into the final in the very last position, but you can never count her out because Chuso gonna Chuso. Men's Pommel Horse Final features Max Whitlock, the reigning Olympic champion. He's qualified in the first position to his lone event final, sporting the highest D score in the final by several tenths. He said he won't, but we are still hoping he will unveil his top secret skills. After the success of the Chinese men in the all around, Wang Hao will be looking to keep the run going, the only other competitor to score over 15 in qualification. American Alex Nador, the Olympic bronze medalist qualified in third, plans to upgrade to beat Max, but has made it clear that nothing but gold is good enough for him now. After the disappointment of the all-around final, David Beliavsky will look to use his crisply extended body position to get onto a world's podium. The women's uneven bar final features Fanya Lin. She is the only returning member of the four-woman gold medal tie in Glasgow. She will look to repeat, but a repeat of the four-way tie is unlikely as the FIG will now break ties with the execution score tiebreaker first, followed by the D score if the tiebreak is still needed. The Russians, Yeromina and Ilyankova, will look to spoil her return to glory, qualifying in first and second, both with inventive, unexpected, and difficult skills that pay tribute to their Russian legacy, Yeromina performing the Nabieva and Ilyankova performing the Yazova. Nina Durwell has successfully enshrined herself in gymnastics lore by performing her now eponymous F-rated Durwal Fenton Stalter Tokachev half in qualification and becoming the first Belgian to ever make a final. Now, can she become the first medalist? And if any one of them makes a mistake, Ashton Locklear's superior execution will be there to snatch their medals. In the men's ring final, Olympic champion Eleftherios Petrunius is the top qualifier and the favorite, but Russia's Denis Abliazin qualified less than a tenth behind him, and as it so often does on rings, the difference may simply come down to who sticks a dismount. 2012 Olympic champion Arthur Zanetti barely made the final in eighth position, but has the ability to beat anyone. And Great Britain's Courtney Tulloch enters with the highest D score of any of the finalists with a 6.4. The sentimental favorite will be Samir Ait Said, who snapped his leg on vault in Rio, but is already back on rings and qualified a very competitive fourth.